You know, I really didn't think that we were gonna be the ones to get robbed. You know, out of all people, I felt like, damn, like, y'all gonna rob me like that? You know what I'm saying? I, I literally can not believe it. I was in shock. It, okay, so, so this is what happened. Easy gang. Gang, gang, gang. Guess who it is? Guess who it is? Your favorite YouTubers. What's up, Easy gang? gang, 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 gang. Well, how you guys doing? Look at how beautiful this lighting is and how it captures Natalie's beautiful, bodacious body. Oh, you didn't tell me. You know don't pan. Oh, hold on, do it again. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> Let this suck in. Neasy gang, so we're on top of her roof, and guess what is open? One of the amenities that has been closed for a year. I didn't even, I don't even think I got to show it to you in my, um, in the apartment, apartment tour. tour. Did no. I? They didn't get to see it. No. Nope. They're gonna have to wait for the next apartment tour. You want to wait for the next one? Because <laughs> if y'all don't know, the show's not on. No. No, okay. okay you tell it. Da, da, da. Well, we're up here at the pool. You know what I'm saying? The pool is cool vibes. But right now, we got our little food. Come on, show me what we got today on the menu. This is what this is today on the menu. This salad, but it has. <laughs> this salad. <laughs> It's a salad actually from Whole Foods. And y'all, let me put you onto something, right? Quick, what, real sexy? Quick. Okay. Why is she so, so beautiful? Hold on, man. Let's appreciate Natalie's beautiful face. Thank you, baby. Nah, I ain't saying it for a thank you. You gorgeous, beautiful. But uh, you're welcome. <laughs> so, if y'all want to know, I just want to. Don't pull my hair. Okay, fine. If y'all want to know something, okay. Why? Here's how you save a little money if you are the type of person that eats out a lot, okay? We are. We are. Get a Whole Foods, right? And get you a Sally Daddy. And get you a nice salad. Like this Sally salad Daddy. was $7.99. It was only seven? $7.99. But this is like the quality of a salad that you would buy out. So exactly. don't buy it out and spend like $15 on a salad. Go to Whole Foods and it's like really nice quality. Quality, but let's, let's get to it because we got a lot to tell you. Oh yeah, so we're about to get into it. Get into it. If y'all didn't know, we, we got a story to tell you. Oh my God. A little story time, if you will. Pretty much, we got robbed. We got robbed. We got robbed. Right, real quick, let me tell y'all what's in the salad, okay? So we got some like rice noodles right here. Mm -hmm. We have a sesame ginger dressing. And then we got sweet potatoes. This looks like cabbage, some type of bean. Cauliflower, broccoli. This is a good salad, y'all. Mm -hmm. What kind of sauce is this? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope. You know, that's why I got it, because I was like, my baby will like this one. Let me know, too, for all my, my lesbos that are watching this video. My lesbos. My lesbos. How, how's your summer going? Are you guys having a hot dog summer? Hot dog summer? What is a hot dog summer? So, a hot dog summer is pretty much this. This goes out to all my dykes. You know what I'm saying? You know who you are. And if you don't consider yourself a dyke, all right, cool. You can still rock the shirt. But it's pretty much you turn it up all summer and not caring about what nobody says. Nobody can tell you anything. You know what I'm saying? You're not worried about judgment. You're not worried about people looking at you different because you dress different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're living your best life yep. to your fullest potential and not giving a fuck about it. So this is for like the studs. Yes, it's for okay. everybody. No, it's for everybody. But, but for my dykes though, you know? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. My fellow dykes that we you know when we go in the store and the people kind of looking at us like there's a problem, but we like the latest one in the room. Mm. You know, yeah, you right know. Right. Okay, so let's tell the people. You want to go first? Or All right. Go? So you're in Miami. So someone who we actually know, you know, we're in the same industry and stuff like that. I would consider us like cool associates, right? I thought we were friends. I literally filmed with her. Like you want, you guys want to come to Miami or hit me up. Yeah, hit you up. Because we're friends. She's like, you want to come to Miami for this music video shoot? You know, and I'm like, oh, heck yeah. And it's paid. And then she asked me if I want to do it. I'm like, yeah, I want it. Mm -hmm. Cool. What's the pay, right? It was a free vacation as far as I'm concerned. Okay. So we're out there living our best life. We on jet skis. And Rolls Royces. We in mansions. Turn it up, offer this music video. We were in yachts, we were on two yachts. Oh, two yachts, two yachts, bro. And it was so much fun, like everybody on the yacht were vibes. Even the artists that we were in the music video with, like super, super vibes. Like I never heard of him, but he was hella cool. Everything felt cool, you know what I'm saying? Like we're all vibing and stuff like that, but not only that, we can see like, okay, 
these people are about their business. Like they got money, right? Mm -hmm. They were like, oh, if y'all wanna stay in the mansion Bruh. that we got. The mansion was immaculate. It had an oh. elevator. Oh my God, it was so big. It was like you could literally get lost in the mansion. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Not to mention. What, what? They were just throwing money away like it was nothing. Oh they were throwing money, like making it rain on the yacht. Money was flying off of the yacht into the water. It was crazy. In the mansion, they weren't picking it up. I'm like, <laughs> But they didn't care about money. That's how you knew it was just like money wasn't anything to them. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? I just want y'all to know. I wasn't thinking about it either, but this made me feel safe. Cause usually, let me mm -hmm. just set this part up. Come usually, y'all, as a content creators, as um entertain being in the entertainment industry, mm -hmm. sometimes when you go do a job or whatever, if you don't have your management there, you gotta be a little skeptical. You gotta like you're, you're looking out for yourself. Yeah. No contract. No contract, you're looking out for yourself. You're trying to make sure like, all right, these people have my best interest. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly. in mine, I felt comfortable, more than comfortable. So the girl that invited us, you know, she's being hella cool, man. Like accommodating, checking in on us, making sure everything's good. She's having a good time. Everybody on the yacht, the boat, uh, the mansion, the everywhere, the club, because we went to the club. What was what's that big club called? That's huge. Um, live. We got to yeah. live. Yeah. Live. Everybody was super cool. So, like, we just had, we were having, like, literally the best time, I feel like, in Miami at that point. Yeah. So then it starts getting tricky. And this is why I didn't expect, bro. <laughs> Mind you, you, everybody got money. Everybody there, you, you feel real safe, like Natalie said. And, you know, time is starting to go by, right? It's and, about to be, like, the, what, the end of the trip, right? It's about to be the end of the trip. You know, I really didn't think that we were gonna be the ones to get robbed. You know, out of all people, I felt like, damn, like, y'all gonna rob me like that? You know what I'm saying? I, I literally couldn't believe it. I yeah. was in shock. It, okay, so so this is what happened. So the night is coming to an end. We perform all of our duties, and you know, yes, although we were all having fun and stuff like that, we were there on a paid, on a paid um, trip and also paid performance. You know what I'm saying? We got performances, performance fees. So when it's time now, not only that too, we were promoting it. Yeah. Oh, and we were promoting the like whole weekend. Crazy, whole weekend. So you know everybody's winding down or whatever, and all the girls are literally, you know, like, okay, you know, when are we getting paid? Time to cut the check. Time to cut the check. You know what I'm saying? And this is the reason why we now do not do anything without management. Mm -hmm. When we don't do nothing without a contract. It doesn't matter if you think that there's something. There's nothing going because we will make sure like. Yo, we're not doing nothing without a contract in our management. Night is ending, and pretty much we're all like, yo, okay, so when are we gonna get paid? The girl that literally invites us there, invites us to Miami, she's nowhere to be found. Disappears. Where is she at? Literally everyone in the house is looking for her because it's the end of the night. This is the last night. We need, we need our money. She's nowhere to be found. Then somebody finally, finally finds her after like, what, 45 minutes. It's Wait. late. Mm -hmm. It's super late. <laughs> the guy whose music video this was, he's running the show and stuff, you know. He got his, his posse with him to right. help him. Even he is looking for her. Right. Where is she? We're like, we're trying, you know. She told us we were gonna get paid in like 30 minutes. It's been like three hours. Where's she at? We find her. She's drunk, intoxicated. Oh, I forgot. We were like, yo, we're trying to get paid. You know, we're trying to leave. We'll do whoop. I forgot. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'll pay you guys. Hold on a second. Some people had left already. They had to go. They had to catch those flights. Bruh. So they had to leave their money in Miami. But So we're what? I'm missing a flight. Listen. <laughs> I don't care. I got all that. <laughs> Give me my money. Pay me. Pay me now. <laughs> Pronto. Give me my mucho de nabra. Right. So we're waiting there and she said, she's, oh yeah, I'm gonna give it to you guys or whatever. Mind you, we all drank the same amount, but you're not drunk. She's literally avoiding everybody, bro. Everybody's trying to get their money. And it's like, how many girls would you say was there? 10 to 15. 10 to 15 girls. But every girl is like sitting there like. And then at a point, we were all separately kind of trying to get paid. Then we start realizing we're all waiting for our money. So we all get together and we're like, Yo, what's what going it? on? Right. We're talking to each other. Oh, you didn't get paid yet either? You didn't get paid? Oh, hell. Yeah. She did. She told you three hours ago you're about to get paid? Right. Why yeah. she keep disappearing? So eventually, it got awkward, okay? 
we end up having to talk to the guy's manager, mm -hmm. the artist's manager, and the artist. And we're like, look, look, bro, this is what we were promised. We we'll don't know what's going on, but she's like, not looking, it's not looking good. They're like, what? First of all, they start going around asking everybody, how much, how much did you say, say you were gonna get paid? How much did you say you were gonna get paid? How much were you supposed to get paid? They added it up and realized that it she- wasn't even, It wasn't even the amount. Oh my God. She literally told them double the amount to pay everybody. But she, she was trying to pocket the rest for herself. Right. It was, it was- Does that even make how sense? How much money was it? I'm not, I don't know exactly how much money it was, but let's just say it's $20,000 and you gotta pay 15 girls. You know what I'm saying? She and asked I, for she she, so asked she asked for 40. She asked for 40. And I'm not saying this is the amount, but let's just say she asked for 40 and still paid the girls like and, and they're thinking, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we're gonna pay these girls forty thousand dollars or whatever, fifteen girls, split it up or whatever, right? And not, uh, not so, only that, they paid her too for her service. For finding the girls. So but look, look, look. She pocketed twenty thousand dollars in her pocket, right? And then with the twenty thousand dollars, she only gave the girls, each girls, let's just say, well, how much, like a couple hundred dollars. Out of, and so she we not only to the other girls that were there, they were like, oh, she only told me like a hundred dollars. We were like, what? Huh? <laughs> the bit? But the crazy thing is she was even trying to wheel and deal with us. Yeah, and she was trying like, to give oh, me. the budget's not that big. Bitch, you just got racks on top of racks. racks. You got double the amount that you were trying to pay people. She so yes. basically, that's what we ended up finding out while she was missing is that, and the management was hot. And they're like, nah, she needs to get down here now because this Bro. is what she told us. She's trying to rob us. She's trying to steal from she us. She was not only stealing from them, she was stealing from us because it was like she wasn't trying to give us our money. Then when she was trying to actually give us our money, she was trying to say some low amount, like, it was like, hold up, swallow, bitch, run me my money. <laughs> we'll pull up the, the receipts. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? I will get ratchet and ghetto real quick. <laughs> so the moral of the story, at the end of the story, we sat down with them because they was getting scammed, we was getting scammed, she was doing a scam. She was looking stuck on stupid. stupid. She was sitting there looking like she was about to cry. Like she was just like, and then what did everyone the money? We were looking at her PayPal account. Oh, I was saying everybody was her. looking at the PayPal. And it was crazy. We like, we were like, oh, you then this, and then she tried to make up lies and excuses. Oh well, see, there was all this stuff I had to handle. No, nope. not that much work of stuff. Well, because you could buy a house with that. Right. Like, period. At the end of the day, if you have your own business, and even if you're like a any type of worker contract or whatever make sure there's a contract involved because that way you can sue somebody you know what i'm saying if they ain't trying to uphold their end of the agreement like make sure it happens because yeah. that's that was our situation it was it was friends it was, not friends and we just felt we usually we would do contracts but we just felt cool it was her. our friend bro yeah, was our she friend. was in my video and no 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 we didn't talk to her again after that and then we decided you know what let's stay in miami let's extend our stay because our mom is out there you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying this girl has the nerve to literally DM me and be like, oh, I'm the reason why you staying out here. It's funny that you staying out here and I'm the reason why you out here. I flew you out, blah, 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 blah. Send me this long message. Cause she saw we were having the time of our lives. Still. And she was like, have fun on the trip I paid for. <laughs> she was salty cause we got paid for our services. And we stayed longer? Yeah, we gonna extend the stay. We definitely extend the stay. That's where we were staying. With my mother. I have family here. I'm from here. Then even when you're doing business with friends, make sure it's a contract. I her under a contract. She's under contract. No. A strict, strict contract, okay? She under a strict contract. Now they don't, now they know, don't play with my money. Listen. Or I'm gonna play you. <laughs> but in the day, that was our story. We wanted to chop it up with you guys with this chopped up salad, no pun intended. Oh. Yeah, let us know if you guys want to hear more mukbangs because a lot of more stuff is story time. Story time. We have so yeah. many stories, y'all. Stuff has happened to us. But we love you guys. Easy game. The camera's literally on 1%. I was scared it was going to die. And then we weren't able to tell the story. But yeah. We um, love you guys. We love you guys so much. Tell us also below what kind of content you want to see from us. Yeah. And uh, copy your hot dog summer merch. Oh, yeah. In the description. Oh, we out. Gang, gang.